Okay, so in this video, we will have a sample for a sample problem for a one sample z test for proportion. So as a review, we will be um, we will we'll be using z test if we know the population standard deviation. So if in case the population standard deviation is not known, so we will use um, t test. Okay, so we will have this. Example. So, a uh, commonly prescribed drug for relieving nervous tension is believed to be only 60% effective. Experimental results with a new drug administered to a random sample of adults who were suffering from nervous tension showed that, uh, that 70 received relief. Is this sufficient evidence to conclude that the new drug is superior to the commonly prescribed so we will use a 0 0.05 level of significance okay so we'll have here the solution for this problem okay so let's just write here the solution so the very first thing to do is for us to establish the step on how to solve this one so the first step is to have our null hypothesis to write our null hypothesis the second step is to write also the alternative um, hypothesis. Then we will have our alpha or our uh, level of significance. We will write that one. Then we will have our critical region. Critical region. Wherein we are go going to state our decision rule. Okay. The next one we will have our the fifth is we will have our um, um, computations, okay. Then sixth one we have our decision, and the last one the seventh will be our conclusion. Okay, so these are the steps in solving this problem okay so we'll start here for the first step we state our null hypothesis our null hypothesis because we are going to prove if our drug is more superior than that or more superior than the commonly prescribed so our null hypothesis is we'll say that the drug is not superior compared to the commonly prescribed drugs so we will say if it is not superior then it will the effectiveness of our drug is equal to the if effectiveness of the commonly prescribed drug which is 0 0.6 or 60 percent then our null hypothesis if we our alternative hypothesis we will say that it is effective so it is much so uh, it is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug then it will have a high uh, effective rate which is not equal or higher to 0 0.6 percent okay so by this one you could say that we will have a one pill test so that that um that conclusion will be will be much useful on the on the later steps then our um level of significance our alpha is equal to 0 0.05 so that is given then our critical region so in which we are going to have our z for this one okay so if we are going to draw the normal probability curve so just draw that one here okay because this is a one tail test so we will have so let's just draw the horizontal line okay so this will be the five percent because we are we are saying it is higher so it will be a positive or the right tailed um, one so this will be the area in which we could say that we will reject our null hypothesis then this area here so we just color that one in another color this one so this will be our f TR or the fail to reject area so that is the fail to reject area. so we will we will find the value here this one the value 
that one of our z in which if our computed z is beyond this given z here this point then we could if is beyond the point so it is now entering the area in which we could reject our ho then we will say that we will reject our ho and we could say that our new drug is uh, much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug if it is within this one the ftr region then we will say that we will accept our null hypothesis and we'll say that our new drug is not as uh, is not superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug so how to find this z so we need to find this area here so this is a hundred percent curve so we because our level of significance is five percent so this remaining area the remaining region in which we, we will be uh, failing to reject this will be 95 percent so we will use the z table so let's just have our z table here so this is our z table so we will find the 95 percent okay so 95 93 there so this is the 95 percent so we will just use a red color so this is the 95 this is 94 0.94.95 and this is also 0 0.9505 so it is between this region and looking at the the horizontal value of our z this is 0 1.6 then our point 95 is between this one between 0 0.04 and 0 0.05 so it will be 0 0.045 so we will add these two value so our z will now become z is equal to 1.645 okay so if our z computed z that will be our z, z sub c is greater than our z which is 1.645 then from this one we could now reject this is our decision rule reject our H O. So this is our decision rule. Okay. So we will now go to the computations. Okay. So computations. So let's have a new slide. Okay. Computation. So this will be, I believe this is step 5. Okay. So in getting the computed Z for a uh, one sample z test for proportion so we have the formula p hat minus p sub zero over square root of p hat p hat time i know not p hat but p sub zero times q sub zero over n okay so we have here different uh, variable so p hat okay so p hat is just the probability of the sample which is 70 out of 100 fine relief and which is equal to 0 0.7 the po is the probability of the population which is 60 percent effective so that is 0 0.6 and this is not hat, no hat for that. That is P sub O only. So Q sub O, that is 1 minus P sub O. Or the, the, the probability of a certain population not having the result as, as shown in P O. Okay, so that will be 1 minus 0 0.6 and that is equal to... Um, 0 0.4 okay and our n is the number of sample individual or the number of samples which is equal to 100 so we just substitute that one in our equation so we have here 0 0.7 minus uh, that will be 0 0.6 over square root of 
uh, 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 all over 100 okay so we'll use our calculator here and therefore us to solve for our um, computed C value Z value okay. maybe we just move our calculator Oops. Okay, so we just move our calculator over here okay so we have 0 0.7 minus 0 0.6 all over square root of 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 all over okay we could have that once the answer will just be the same 100 and the answer is so 2.04 okay so 2.04 this is our computed z so we will go back now to our decision rules our our decision rule so we have that one as dr a decision rule it stands for decision rule okay so we say that if our computed z, uh, z is greater than the z given in the table we will reject our null hypothesis so this one comparing our computed z is 2.04 and our z is 1.645 so it is clear that our computed z is greater than our z so we will reject our null hypothesis so this is now our conclusion and we will accept Not conclusion but our decision we will accept our alternative hypothesis which is um, the effectiveness is so our p is not equal to 0 0.6 okay so this is now the decision decision so seven we okay, just have the hundred the seven step is our conclusion that could say that the new drug is superior compared to the commonly prescribe drug okay. that is now the whole answer or the whole solution for this problem okay so thank you for watching this video and as always keep on studying